A decentralized identifier, or DID, is a unique string that resolves to a DID document. This document holds important information, including the public keys associated with that identity. But like many digital technologies, DIDs come with certain risks, and different DID methods have emerged to help manage them. One risk is that the owner of a DID document can change the public key listed in it. For example, someone might publish a key in their DID document and use it to sign digital statements. Later, they could edit their DID document, switching keys, and then claim those earlier statements weren't theirs. Technically, the document itself would still be valid, with all the required digital signatures in place, making the change difficult to detect by looking at the DID document alone. That's why it's important to observe DID document changes from the outside. There are a few ways to do this. One approach is to store the DID document in a public, tamper-resistant location. DID methods like DID Indy and DID IPFS use this strategy. DID Indy, for example, uses a blockchain to preserve a transparent and verifiable history. But not all systems rely on public storage. DID Carry takes a different approach. It uses a network of observers known as witnesses and watchers. These participants sign records of the data source of the DID document and keep copies of relevant sections. They can verify that the history of changes remains consistent over time. This decentralized, peer-based model allows duplicity to be caught. In a blockchain, the watchers can be anyone with access to view the blockchain, while in carry, the observers are selected for each DID. A different approach used by some DID methods is to post a digest of the DID document content to a public ledger, such as Ethereum. Instead of storing the entire DID document, only a cryptographic fingerprint of the content is recorded. This digest acts as a tamper evidence seal. If someone tries to change the content of the DID document, the digest will no longer match. Verifiers can use this to ensure that the DID document they're viewing is exactly the one that was originally anchored to the blockchain. Having a way to observe changes to a DID document from the outside by disinterested parties who will not collude to enable DID document duplicity is essential for maintaining trust in decentralized identity systems. Since the DID controller can update the document, independent verification, whether through public ledgers, hash commitments, watcher networks, or other methods, helps ensure that changes are transparent and detectable. Without this external observability, malicious actors could alter their identity records without accountability, undermining the integrity of the system.